He weighed what? <laughs> I'm defending him, but he weighed what? <laughs> we are not paying there's, for there's no way he broke the trampoline, sir. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to <laughs> That Shakes Out with Damon and Ted. I am not Damon. That makes me Ted. I changed it for you this time. <laughs> yeah. Hey, enjoy not being Damon, because it's fun. Oh, over. Enjoy it's every fun day. over here. I'm going to tell you that right now. I enjoy every day not being <laughs> Hey, I don't even want to go into my How week. Do I don't even want to go into my week. I want to start with a dead to me. Can How I? You, is it with me just now? No. <laughs> I want to start with two dead to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so dead to me. Other people may fall in this category too. Pre-lit Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas, dead. Yeah. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead you, to me. You have no idea. Yeah. They ought to say works for seven seconds Christmas tree. That's what they ought to say. Pre-lit in the store display only. Yeah. Yeah. I got you get it home. Now, again, I've had these trees for a couple of years, but the first year I had them, it had lights go out on the front of the tree. I put the tree in a corner. I think the tree can tell when it's been put in storage, and that's when the fail safe goes. <laughs> 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 right. Right. But I, I just, I'm so fed up. I had to undecorate a nine foot Christmas tree all the way down because we were hosting my wife's family and we had, so if we was just us, we're Paracios. Cool. Some lights are out. Who cares? You know what I mean? We got everybody coming over. It's like, I don't want to look like Christmas trash, you know? So it's, you know, maybe I am, but I don't, I, I don't want to look like that way. I am, but. I don't want my wife to have to look that way. I mean, she's already associated with me. Um, but no, it, it was, they're so dead to me. It's not even funny. So I'm not cutting the lights out either. See, I'm I, not. I, I did that. Yeah, I'm not doing I, that. I watched White Christmas, which you know is about a two-hour movie. Yeah. Turned it on. Took the entire length of the movie to cut out the lights. Because, you know, when you put on lights, you just kind of go, maybe you wrap around, you loop once around a branch. Yeah, once in a while, going. but otherwise you're spiraling These were quad-looped. <clears throat> yeah. Every single light was quad-looped yeah. around another thing. And it would just, I was like. For a while, I was cutting, kind of getting some out and pulling. It got to the point where it was literally just individually cutting out lights. Just really? Wow. And then, and then I came home two days later and it is leaning up, up against the wall. <laughs> and I go, uh, what's happening here? Yeah. And uh, I was informed that the tree stand had broken. <laughs> so there's only three workable legs at this point. I'm like, of course. <laughs> now, fully decorated and everything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's when it happens. So I said, I got, I got a, uh, it's a nine foot tree it is still, in my room. Hey, this light doesn't work hey, at all now. You want to talk about some shadows, <laughs> Brian. You, you get your full name for this, Brian. You want to talk about some shadows. <laughs> Hold on, Brian. Do when that light went out? Suddenly, like he's doing a documentary. I was going to say, am I supposed to do a, a monologue? Yeah. So there I was. No, a monologue. <laughs> a, 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 I'll see something else and I'm like, <laughs> we have changed Ted's voice and and, and I was going to say Ted's trying to be, he, from a co-host who wants to remain anonymous. So <laughs> I come up and like half the trees undecorated. I'm just going. Oh, I started taking them off, and then I decided to just leave it leaned up against. So it's still <laughs> this leaned up against the wall. Yeah. Well, that's why the wall's there. I have another pre-lit tree in the basement. It yeah. doesn't work. However, its pole. Yeah. Is less girthy than the one that's upstairs, so I can't just swap the stand because, of course, I can't. Right. <laughs> totally understand, man. Totally understand. But I had literally I, suddenly I thought I was in like a uh, a cops documentary. Yeah. Well, I got lucky. The one that's in the uh, in the family room, it's a it's like a seven foot tree or seven and a half, whatever. No one likes a bragger. Yeah. But it, it's got colored lights. The other one had white lights. This one had color lights. The whole top section of it, you know, how it goes down in three sections. Yeah. The top section went dead, and I'm like. Of course, but I only had to pull off that many ornaments. And then I'm, it's literally in the corner with presents all underneath it. And I'm like, I'm not taking this tree and moving it and this and that. I'm standing, and I'm spinning the lights around like it's a lasso, right? Right. And then I plug them in. I'm like, looks good. Put the ornaments back on it, you know? <laughs> so Sign it up. We didn't talk about Christmas presents last <laughs> week when we were talking. I got like a massage chair insert thing. Okay. So basically it's not a massage chair. It's just a thing you would put on a chair and turn it into a massage chair. Right. But I also we also have a foot massager and a calf massager, and now this does your back and neck. So I did the full thing, just full on out. Feet, calves, back, neck. The next day I couldn't walk. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was asked, well, what setting did you put it on? I'm like, setting? It's all the way to the top, baby. <laughs> yeah. There's no settings yeah. on this. Let's, it's high up, everything heat. Let's blow this thing out of the pool. I got a gift. We're using 100% of it. Right. Okay, we're not. I'm not using 64% of this. I'm using 100% of this gift. So isn't it great when you get that relaxed and you're like, can't move. Oh, you know? was, <laughs> I, I, my neck is still tender. Yeah. From where that thing was just We like, used to have one of those things that did the, did the calves. <laughs> You'd put your calves in there. You could put your feet in there too, but it did, it did your calves. And they, they tell you, you had to do it a certain way because it massages the blood. It can't massage the blood away from you. It has to massage yeah. it up into you. And so I, I put it on there and I'm like, 
No. I, I feel like I'm getting punched by Smurfs. It's just like, and I mean, they're they're badass Smurfs. You know what I mean? They've been training. And it's just, my calves hurt so bad. I'm like, nope. I can put my feet in there, but I couldn't uh, put nothing else. Yeah. No way. Like, wait, this was, a, this was a thoughtful gift? Yeah, this was a gift of, from someone who hates you. Gift? So, no, knowing what I know now, I'm going to give you a face massager <laughs> next year, okay? All the way up, baby! Yeah. <laughs> It runs on 220. You're going to want to run it off a car battery. You know, you're going to want to start it, run off a generator. Um, But no, uh, I just, I had to say that because I believe I'm going to hit a nerve with a lot of people and it's pre-lit Christmas trees. Because again, even when this was new, it went out the first year. So yeah, uh, so I get it. about one of those, have you seen those guns I have that you can try to like, it'll look like- Oh, test the lights? It'll go, and somehow kick the lights back on? Yeah. We did that. Kick the lights back on, walked away, put the gun- Put the gun away, turned back around, a different strain had gone out. Like, Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so unless you're pointing a gun at the Christmas tree, the lights don't work. <laughs> so that that checks out. That seems yeah. legit. Yeah, very much. So, so anyway, that's the only dead to me I had, but I I had to share that. Um, because again, I'm sure that's in everybody's wheelhouse. That that that's that's tried that. Some people just don't like putting lights on trees. I get it. If I could have a tree open up like an umbrella, like they do in the cartoons. You know, and it's all the decorations around it, the lights around it, everything else. Boom, I'm done. You know? Right. So, but I, I, I'm i not. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the beach. Couldn't find my sun umbrella, so I got my Christmas tree. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Um, But uh, any, anything else interesting we happened? We watched the oh. Weird Al movie. Yes, we did. Oh, we did. And I'll tell you, watch it, don't watch it, I don't care. But the part that stuck with me, it's the... His, he finds out something about his father way, <laughs> yeah. way, way late in the movie. Like he, yep. he finds out why his father is why his father is. He finds like the the, the origin story of basically of and the line his, of the whole movie yeah, follows. It's like I never knew that about you. Pause. His dad's like, well, of course you didn't. I just told you that just now. <laughs> Lost it. It was amazing. <laughs> just the way he's it's like, of course you did. Yeah. I just told you. <laughs> As a kid, kids like, wow, I never knew that about you. And just as so matter of fact. Of course. I mean, because honestly, we've all wanted to say that. Yeah. You know, you tell somebody a story and they're like, wow, I never knew that about you. I know, because it's been a secret yeah. till now. Yeah. I've told no one. Right. Until this exact minute. <laughs> yeah. If you knew that, weird. And now, if anybody else knows, I know who told them because it's not me, you know? But, uh, oh, but, man, but it was after. It was a good movie, though. Yeah, but it was after spending day two at my mom's. Yeah. Doing like <clears throat> follow up. And then we went to your grandma's and helped her out. Yeah. And then we get to your place and I'm just like, at one point, I was like, I could just fall asleep here forever. I almost thought about that. And we're, yeah, we're was so beat at that point. Yeah. Well, and it was kind of nice outside. We had the windows open. It was nice. You know, yeah. so I was like, wow. But uh, but no, I was, I was the same way. I'm like, don't fall asleep during this movie. I fall asleep during almost every movie. So I was like, don't fall asleep during this movie. You know? And I and I didn't. It was it was a good movie. It just, uh, it was a total left turn from what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was it was good. It was really good. But we've been trying to work, like, work that out for a while. Yeah, where we can watch it. Yeah. If I, by the time that we find the time and the place, I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I've been trying to find the perfect time to take a nap during the Weird Al movie. It was at Damon's house in the basement on the couch. It was pretty nice. I do want to bring up, because it's a new year. It's a new Damon. Okay. All right. New year, new me. Is that how it goes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so far, so far, it does not check out. <laughs> yeah, so far, no. Uh, so far, half of that checks out. But it says there's a new study on obesity, and it's no longer labeled as a lazy person or lack of willpower condition. It's now a chronic disease. I feel like you cherry picked this. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's weird? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so <Now> that. <laughs> so, New Year, same old Damon. Okay, that's what we did. That's what we just learned. How many years is it going to take for scientists to finally tell me it's not my fault? Right, yeah. <laughs> I've waited so long. That's one of the best Mitch Hedberg jokes ever. Rest his soul. One of his best ones was when he says, he goes, so alcoholism is a disease. He says, but so is lupus. One of those doesn't sound right. Damn it, Otto, you're an alcoholic. Damn it, Otto, you have lupus. You know? he, goes, <laughs> he goes, one of those doesn't work. And so like for me, it's the same way. It's like, listen, you know, I, I know I'm obese. It's a condition. You know what I mean? <laughs> And the condition is, this is a cake hole. Yeah. I don't know what the it means. The condition is that most things on this earth are delicious. Right. 
<laughs> but but my other my other point was is it, it says let me look in the quotes here. Yeah, it says it's not labeled anymore as a lazy person or lack of willpower disease or lack of willpower. And I'm thinking to myself, that's how I got here. <laughs> I just want to think today it was like, yeah, I was in Australia and the guy was like, oh, you're American. Like, oh, how could you tell whether it was dressed or the way they talk? He's like, no, you, yeah, you're the fattest MF I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, was this an American study? <laughs> this was an American study. Sure was. Yeah. Probably put on by Heinz. <laughs> There's probably <laughs> barbecue fingerprints all over the study when it was turned in. It's like, were you eating while you were doing this? Maybe. Co-sponsored by Hellman's. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. So, but no, I just so everybody knows, it's, it is a condition. <laughs> well, no, just so everyone knows. It's a condition. Whenever you see me. Yeah. Don't, I have a disease. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't go, <laughs> he's fat. No, you don't do that. You wouldn't do that to somebody else. Don't do that to him. I have a condition. Okay. So, but what's weird is, is, is say that it's not lazy or no willpower. That's exactly what got me in this condition. Okay. So the condition exists because of the laziness and lack of willpower. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out, cause it was, it was brought to my attention by a buddy of mine who got stopped and he says, <clears throat> and, he, and he said, he goes, it was kind of his, I don't want to say it's his bit, but his line was so great where he says, why do they ask me? Do I know why they pulled me over? And I'm thinking to myself, they do that all the time. Right. Okay. And so that is a weird thing to be like, you stopped me, okay? Why did why did you stop me? How long were you following me? I probably did a bunch of stuff that right. was wrong. Yeah, was like, like, you know, yeah, there's a variety of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> I want the lowest one. <laughs> How long have you been behind me? Oh, okay. Then I, then this is what I did. You know, followed by everything else. How about else. you tell me, and I'll tell you if that's one of the ones I was guessing. <laughs> <laughs> right. But but it also so what it makes me feel like because I told him when when he said that I go it's like they're at an improv show and they're doing a bit. I mean it is le it is like, legit to see if you will admit to something right. you like they but, weren't going to get. But it's you like one. they're asking the audience, okay, give me give me a who, okay, it's you, All right, <laughs> give me give me a what, what were you doing? You know, <laughs> it's like give me a who, give me an activity, being pulled over. Yeah. <laughs> give me your location, side of the road. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, I'm giving you the tools. Make some comedy. You know, it is what it is. But I just don't understand why that's the first question they lead with. Because they are. They're trying to, like, yeah. get you to incriminate yourself. And it's like, well, I'm not going to tell you I was speeding. What if you stop me because I have a turn signal out? Or I didn't. Look, I randomly signal at certain places. Yeah. So, dude, how long were you following me? I didn't signal 42 times yeah. or 47? Every 137th rotation of my tires, it leaves the lane. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it just, whoop, out of the lane, back in the lane. Yeah. I don't. It's weird. I don't know what it's weird. You know, almost enough to make me put my phone down. I just saw a video where a guy's <laughs> in a motorcycle and he's filming probably for his own safety and whatever. All of a sudden, six red light. He stops. Yeah, six more bikes just boom, 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 right past him. He revs once, like cherries lights up behind him. <laughs> Pulls him over. The guy, he, the guy in the motorcycle, looks over to the guy next to him and he's like, "I even stopped." And the guy's like, "Yeah, I know." But anyway, the cop pulls him around the corner. He's like, do you know why I stopped you? And he's like, no, frankly, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you were revving your engine at the light. He's like, that's what we're doing? Yeah. Did you not see the- The guys like, that went through yeah. the red light at 45 miles an yeah. hour? Yeah. Oh, you, those you, guys were You fine? didn't see them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like, legitimately, I do not. Yeah. But then it makes me wonder too, like, does every do the, does every cop have like short-term memory loss where <laughs> yeah. they, get, they get to, like, because that'd be like me walking from the car up there like, why did I stop you? You know? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> what, you know what? I'll ask this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> You're not going to Hey, roll it down. Uh, well, you know why I stopped you? No, I mean, really. I need to know why I stopped you. Real quick, couple things. What is this I'm wearing? <laughs> and do you know why we're on the side of the road? <laughs> How do I turn them lights off on that car? I don't even know what happened. Those lights are on. <laughs> There's a guy back here with some lights on, really annoyed. <laughs> That's why he pulled you over. My lights were stuck on. I want to know if you know how to turn them off. <laughs> there's this one's on top and there's a really bright one out of the door. Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. Yeah, you see the shadow of me up the street there. I don't want to alarm you, but I have a gun. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> and a stick. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and he takes out, and I got some of this mouth spray. Ah, Mace! It's Mace! It's Mace! <laughs> He's rolling around on the ground. Now you look like you did something to him on the side of the road. And the people are just showing up. <laughs> Maybe I'll take some of this here, but Naka. <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it does, doesn't it just kind of ask the auction house why this guy got fired? <laughs> <laughs> but that's a great, I like what you said. Maybe I'll ask this guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Because that's the old, look, I'm 46 <laughs> years old. I walk in a room, but I like the last word I said to you was, no, I'll be right back. And then you get in the room, and you're like, damn it. What am I doing in the what? pantry? What <laughs> could possibly be in this room? Yeah. <laughs> 
That was so important. And then you walk back then, in, yeah, and they go, I came in here with a full head of steam. <laughs> I didn't wander in here. I came in here like, this is what I'm coming here to do. I'm not a cat and it's midnight. I should not be moving around the house like this. There's a definite purpose behind what I'm doing. Like, foom. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but then I love you walk back out and the guys, and the, the, like my kids will be like, hey, did you get the so-and-so? And I'm like, that's why I went in there. And I turn around and go back in there. No, but I can tell you the sink's clean. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> but it, it is. You go in, you start picking stuff up, you start doing other things and you leave and you're like, I'll tell you how many times I go upstairs to grab something. No, that's why I went in there. Look at it. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm up here. I'll do this. Come back downstairs and go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what stage I'm not at yet, though? I'm not at the stage where I'm using the flashlight on my phone to find my phone. <laughs> okay? No, I, I, I will use the flashlight on my phone to find something else. Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, well, you, it's bright as day. I, but for some reason, focusing the flashlight makes me help. Like, yeah. But I can't tell you how many times that I can, I'm not going to name who, but will use the find their phone on their phone. Yeah. <laughs> What's if? Who, like, who's calling you, me now? What's have you seen my phone? Like other than the one in your hand? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you have a second one I don't know about? Because if not, I think I solved the case. It's right here. But uh, but no, it, that that's that was when he brought that up. I said, you know what? I'm gonna just mention that, and I, that was funny. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm gonna ask this guy. <laughs> just rap on the window. You know what? I'm gonna ask this guy. Yeah. By the way, you don't you don't turn the lights off in that thing. <laughs> but you're, the look on your face, and you're like, and I have a gun. <laughs> I, I don't I don't even know. Did I leave the house with a gun? Did someone just give it to me? <laughs> Yeah, but it, it it is. It's that short term memory loss where it's like, how does it? And you know what's weird? You can play a song that I haven't heard since I was in middle school, and like after yeah. the first verse, I'm like, oh man, I'm all in. I know every word. You know, the worst is when you it's something you need to take with you, and you just get out of your neighborhood, and you're like, oh, really? Yeah, like the, like this morning when I didn't bring the the hard drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it, I, you I mean, it. I wasn't specifically calling you out, but now that no, we but, have, but it, way to go. But that's that's the honest case. I mean, that's and it's like, and I I didn't even realize it till we get here and we get out of the car. And I'm like, I go to grab where I always set the hard drive in the in the yeah. in the van, so I don't forget it. And I'm like, well, oh. I made the intelligent thing to live as far out of the Chicago suburbs and get me in the Chicago <laughs> suburbs at the yeah. same time. So yeah. when I get somewhere, it's just like, well, that's at home. Yeah. There is no going back for right. that. Right. There's no going back. Yeah. Well, and that's uh, so that used to be a big thing when we go on vacation because you're always like, okay, let's pack some ponchos that we got for a dollar over here instead of buying nineteen dollar ones that have Mickey's face on them. You know what right. I mean? And doing this and doing that. So you try to do all that and you have all that stuff going. Then you get there and you're like, hey, did you pack the sunscreen? You know? And you're yeah. like, no. <clears throat> Who'd have thought it would have been sunny in Florida? Yeah. Weird. You know, weird. So, but yeah, it's it's always hey, something like that. Can you go? Can you grab the ponchos? I actually cannot reach to the kitchen counter <laughs> from so, here. No. From here, yeah, from here I cannot. Yeah. No, you're correct. Uh, so. I can. It'll be about thirty six hours because <laughs> I don't fly. Because <laughs> <laughs> John Madden over here. Yeah. So hey, I do want to. I do want to tell a story that I, I should have brought up a couple weeks ago. Um, so we took my wife. Uh, she shot a gun for the first time. Okay. Okay. So, so we took her out on uh, my buddy has some some uh, acreage, and we went out there and we set up. Basically, he just like stuck a paper plate about head high, her head high, right? Not, a little shorter for me, but her head high. Uh, <laughs> what are we, what are we, all right, I gotta make sure you all know. Yeah, <laughs> slightly shorter than mine. yeah. These would have been throat kills if they were me, but uh, they were not. They were head kills on the on the paper plate. Yeah. So when you see your buddy puts it up at your head, and you're like, oh, could you just? Yeah. Well, here's Let's the thing. Train her lower. Here's the thing. When she missed, she missed low every time. And she made a line across that tree. Jeremy's like, two more clips. We're going to saw that tree right in half. Because <laughs> she was very consistent, but she missed low, right? Um, but she was a really good shot, and she wasn't scared of the gun or it like that. So I, so I started calling her Dirty Mary, right? Because I was just like, uh, I have to I have to train myself to shoot left-handed. That sounds grosser. Though. Yeah. <laughs> than it, than it, than you she needs to shower. Yeah, yeah, she needs to shower. But um, no, what was wild is- Because well, Dirty Harry sounds real gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry? Terry, I don't well, know. I'm just saying, the guy, the like, dirty hair, like I get why, they, but it's just like, no, mm. yeah, those are two adjectives I don't want <laughs> yeah. together. But no, so I, I, I absolutely um, was impressed, right? And I was like, cool. So I said, I need to learn how to shoot left-handed because I haven't shot a gun since I yeah. had a little thing with my right arm. It is what it is. So I was like, I'm gonna try this. I, I don't think I hit a tree in the forest. Okay. <laughs> So it's let a alone bear in the woods. Yeah, no. yeah. Let alone a paper plate. Okay. That was stuck to that tree. So, so I was like, okay. So now my thought is she's my source of protection. Okay. If someone comes in, okay, I'm going to just be like, Hey, go take care of this. I got your back. You know I mean? What, I stand behind my wife. Because the only chance I have is you, if you, you slap in a mag and slide. It sounds like a job. And for then dirty hand, Mary. And then hand yeah, it to yeah. her. 
<laughs> yeah, that hand it to her. I got this. Go get him, champ. Here you go. Get in there. Make daddy proud. You know. <laughs> you Put gotta have a sandwich while you're down there. You got eight. You, you got eight tries. Don't miss them. Because <laughs> my best chance, if he gets close enough, I can hit him with the gun. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's my best chance. So hand to hand combat. I'm just gonna throw the gun at him. You know. <laughs> Did I tell you when I when I went down to visit Chelsea that we went to the gun range? Did I say that? No. And he brought in a uh, a machine pistol. Okay. And I didn't realize how loud it was going to be. And we're down on the rifle side of the hand handgun range because there's multiple ranges in the room where we're right. inside. It was like that scene in RoboCop where suddenly it's like <laughs> it's right next to me, and he shoots Those and were the individual frequencies being erased from your hearing. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hence, yeah. Hence the hearing aid. Yeah, right I, think, here. I think Chelsea and TJ set set me up for that. <laughs> Yeah. I literally bricked my pants. Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> and I looked over and it's like, him. Hey, I'm like, were well, you kidding me? Yeah. Warn a guy, man. Little heads up. Little heads up would have been nice. Like a, whoo Well, then I pulled my <laughs> thing back and he was like, how many did you shoot? And I told him, he's like, there's only so many holes. I'm like, yeah, I was going through the original holes. And he's like, get out of town. I'm like, yeah, no. Uh, th- but then you notice where they all down here, that's where I lost my poop. Yeah. <laughs> right. I was doing pretty good yeah. until you decided to fire yeah. off that hand cannon. And then I killed, I killed an innocent bystander. Oh my God. Yeah. It was all like 10, like center ring. And then suddenly it's like top of the chart, bottom of the chart. I was like, whoa. (laughs) When your pants are poopy, aim is off. It is what it is. Oh, (laughs) man. (laughs) But no, so again, you you understand that. But to have somebody shoot for the first time and you're just nervous, you're like, oh, uh, I hope this goes well. You know, the four rules. Yeah. Well, and I I kept telling her too. I'm like, look, your finger only is on the trigger if you intend to pull it. And if guns always pointed that way. And you don't know? put it in something unless you want to destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> know your target and what's behind it. Yeah. The only have your finger on the trigger if you're going to shoot. Yeah. And the fourth one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember it right but now. When she missed, she missed groin high. So I am never, <laughs> I am never talking smack to she her. She has been mentally aiming weapons at that yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. She, she she blows the smoke off the end of the gun looks at Jeremy. Reload. <laughs> uh, Nicole, we're supposed to shoot the plate is useful. <laughs> I don't want to ruin that plate. Yeah. What's down here? Yeah. Wiped out the face of the earth. It's a picture of my GHO guy. Just stapled to the tree. How could you even see that from How'd here? How'd you see? Wow, you got good eyes. That's the other thing. She was like, she was about 15 to 17 yards. I walked off like almost 17 paces. Shortly after that is when you came back with a new prescription. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of weird when they're like, we always point down range. Uh, Damon. That way, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm looking at them. They're like that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. I and it wasn't my eyesight. It was just really the control factor. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we put up a fresh one. I'm like, oh, I got this. <laughs> one hole, like off to the side. <laughs> Everything else, don't even think I hit the tree. Okay. And then she goes up behind me, and uh, there's like seven or eight in the clip. <laughs> there's seven more holes. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I think some of those were mine. She's like, no, they weren't. Hey. <laughs> Mac, find the find the uh, clip from Hardcastle McCormick. Where <laughs> he hands the gun over to him, and suddenly the guy's like a master pro. Yeah, <laughs> only people from our age would get it. But I mean, it's exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, what, what is it? Called Just- Hardcastle and McCormick. Oh, I'll show you later. <laughs> hey, please do not Google Hardcastle on our screen while we're here. <laughs> Too late. Okay. Yeah, as long as you put <laughs> the McCormick in the opening with credits, it, it's fine. like he hands a gun off to someone, and they're like just. Well, bullseye, I also, bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. I, I also wanted to tell you that Hardcastle was one word. I just didn't want you to like be yeah. like, hey. <laughs> hard? Hard? C. I'll, I'll search for here. like <laughs> predicted surprisingly fast. <laughs> predicted. <laughs> yeah. You know, like came up with a suggestion. Absolutely. Well, did you put on parental controls after uh, <laughs> after Jerry was here though, so many weeks? <laughs> stop it, Jerry. Jerry, stop, stop it. it. Stop it. Stop looking at my stuff. That's in my Google you're logged into. <laughs> Yeah, that's my Google. So, <clears throat> Hardcastle McCormick. These, these, these are cool cars, man. These are cool cars. What are you laughing about? Uh, what year is this from? That's the Cody Coyote. I don't know, 80s. Eight, yeah, 80, yeah, early 80s. 84, maybe. Yeah. There it is. This is right here. Right here. Yeah. See, so he's he shooting the gun. Anything, right? He's shooting the Damon. gun. Can't, can't hit nothing. This is Damon. Yeah. Hands it to Nicole. Hands it to Nicole. Okay. Doesn't reload. We'll it. put this Does, video. He yeah, doesn't reload. It. One hand. <laughs> looks at it. One hand. <laughs> do, do, do. Gangster shoots him right through the heart like six times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shoots a six shot revolver 40 yeah. times. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to put that video up when yeah. we put this out. We'll have to remember to do that. Um. So. Drive! So, oh, shit too. Uh, enough about oh, my shortcomings, <laughs> but apparently my wife is the badass of the house. Yo, so. Joe. Yeah. 
So, hey, let's do a let's do a couple of uh, fun facts. Can we fun do that? facts. The fun facts. Damon cannot hit a paper plate. <laughs> I got four of them this week. There's one. So anyway, <laughs> uh, this is this is true. A bank in Italy called Credito Emiliano. Oh, is this the cheese bank? Accepts Parmigiano Reggiano cheese as collateral for small business loans. That's a, that's some expensive cheese. Besides holding the cheese as insurance, the bank scores and ages the cheese in climate controlled vaults for the loan duration. The more it ages, the more delicious and valuable it becomes, like cash. In an interest-bearing account, the uh, the bank's warehouses can store 440,000 80-pound wheels of cheese. Can you imagine if they accidentally hired that guy from last week? And you just see him, like, grating over the... Tell me when. Uh, Dave. <laughs> that is an 8 million wheel of... dollar. <laughs> Eight million euro. F- that's that's not worth more than two grand. I'm yeah. gonna tell you that right now. No, but so, <laughs> dude, this is Bob. So this is the bank you rob. Okay, <laughs> you you go in there. It's dark. You're just grabbing stuff off the shelves. You get out and you realize you have cheese. Right. Okay, now <laughs> this, this this gold is shaped weird. So then the cops show up and they go, "What did they take?" And they go, "Cheese, lots of cheese." And they're like. And now we wait. <laughs> and so they wait. <laughs> they scan every hospital. We're looking for the most constipated guy <laughs> in the entire country. Wait, you get you, you break in, you're like, this bank smells like feet. <laughs> what <laughs> right, is happening? Right. And they're like, what do they steal? They, they stole cheese. And you just got, we got a guy. And he's like, it's a me. <laughs> Mario. It's a me, Mario. I'm back from space already. Look at me. <laughs> I'll chase him down. <laughs> But but for you to go, hey, I got a small business idea. I want to do this. What do you got? I got some cheese. I mean, I don't know. What, what, what do you want? You know? And he goes to prison like, what do you know? I'm in there for stealing that cheddar. <laughs> it was cheese, John. Yeah. We know it was cheese. <laughs> you went to the bank of cheese. So I'm the guy. I'm a shareholder in the bank. Every week I go down there and I go, I want my dividend. They just cut me off a little slice. <laughs> you know, they have those like, 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 like uh, circle borers, you know? Yeah. Like, they just punch into it and pull you out of like a tube. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your tube. I got it in a briefcase chained to my wrist as I'm leaving. You're just, you're just like eating, eating it like string cheese. <laughs> you know you what, just ate yeah. $14,000 worth of cheese. You know what? I don't even care. Just peeling off another piece. Yeah. It's a disease. <laughs> you understand? It's a, yeah. Don't you judge me. This is, a, this is chronic. It's a disease. <laughs> So, by any chance, do we have any marinara anywhere here? <laughs> oh, that's two banks down. I bring my air fryer as a backpack, and I'm like, I'm making the most expensive mozzarella stick you ever had in your entire life. <laughs> but yeah, just just for the cops, be like, and now we wait, you know, because <laughs> that some bitch is going to eat that cheese, and he's not going to be able to go, if you know what I mean. So, wow. But yeah, to say that four hundred and forty thousand. And it, it, there's a picture. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. Nuts. But for for a for a bank to consider that to be like collateral and worth so much, I mean, I mean it's expensive. Yeah, I will tell you that we've had a hard time finding mozzarella cheese at the store the last couple of weeks. So maybe we got the mats. Yeah, we got, we got the, the mats, ma. Wait, we got you the got applesauce or cheese? Yeah. What did you get? Because one of those is going to taste terrible yeah. in the air fryer. Right. <laughs> one of these is going to make a really garbage lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> is that just applesauce and tomato sauce soup? <laughs> Gross. It's great when you heat it up, it boils. <laughs> but, uh, all right, so here's the next one. This one, I don't know if we ever talked, because we talked about the Titanic a lot. You because, did, for sure. Well, because you, had, you wore a captain's hat at one point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> had the bosun's whistle. Yeah. <laughs> the bell. Yeah. You stood on top of your roof and put your arms back. And you're like, <laughs> king of the world, ma! <laughs> There's no more deviled eggs up here either. Every time I go in, I just hang to the door. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just holding on to the door. I don't know what he's doing. He said, don't let me drown. I don't know what he's doing. But it says you always steam up the shower and your one hand just comes up <laughs> on the window. What's he doing in there? I got a flare gun in my bedroom. What are you doing? I'm trying to notify people. Stuff's going on. So iceberg right ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm in the crisper. Iceberg, sir. Iceberg. That's lettuce. And uh, I don't think it's it, it's cold. I told long. you to throw those mushrooms out. <laughs> yeah. I get it. They were the wrong breading, right. Damon. I understand. So so this chick, Violet Jessup. Have you heard of her? No. She's a ship nurse. Served on each of the three sisters. Oh, yeah. She she went down on all. Yeah. Let me, let me phrase. Yeah. <laughs> she was on each ship as they sung. Correct. Yeah, correct. Thank you. All yeah. right. 
<laughs> when you said that, when you said that, I want to be like, no wonder she survived. Instant you. <laughs> Get her the light bulb, yeah. guys. <laughs> Go with Violet. <laughs> By the way, that's a high road to a joke that we didn't even say what it was. So if your mind's in the gutter, that's your problem. That's on you. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, but she was a ship's nurse on the Titanic, the Britannic, and the Olympic. So here's my thing. If I suspect foul play from yeah. anybody, it's her. Yeah. It's her. You know, how do three ships, and again, I think after two of them sink, you get on there and you see her you're like, uh-uh, yeah. nope. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Not if she's on board. Um, but it the guy, says- The guy building the gigantic, it was like, is there a violet on this boat? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. So yeah, but the, the Titanic force hit it, hit an iceberg. The Olympic collided. Yeah, they called the Titanic the unsinkable boat, right? And yeah, it's like we'll see about that. Yeah, challenge accepted. <laughs> I'll be in my quarters. <laughs> I'll be in my quarters with a, a settling torch. Yeah. So, but it says yeah, the Olympic uh, collided with a warship and nearly sank. So it didn't sink, but it was it was wounded and had yeah. to get back to shore. Um, but the Britannic then hit an underwater mine and sank. So she survived all three. Yeah, I, I didn't know her name, but I knew there was a person that was on all three of them. Yeah, so that to me that's amazing, and and to me that's your number one. That's your claim to fame. No, well, that's your claim to fame if you're her. Yeah, but it's also you're you're my number one. Um, it's not a witness. What is uh suspect? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean. You're my yeah. number one suspect that uh, I believe. <laughs> what's weird is you lived through every one of them, yet you were there. Yeah, Violet, why are you always wearing that life vest? Yeah. <laughs> Is that part of a nurse's uniform on ship? <laughs> well, you see a picture. She got the nurse's hat on too. Yeah. So you're like, is that hat inflatable? Yeah. Why is it like she's wearing that like Red Cross looking cloak? Why is it so thick? <laughs> and she's got she's got just a streak of sunscreen down her nose. Yeah, yeah. Are you planning on spending time in the water? What are you doing? She's got goggles like just on her forehead. <laughs> Is that a stethoscope around you? No, she's, it's a snorkel. She's walking the hallways in flippers. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, that's Violet. She, uh, she, she's been on all three of these boats. Oh, but, uh, yeah, what a claim to fame, but what a like yeah. number one suspect. Like if I was doing a 48 hours, I'd right. be like, we're going to look at Violet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're going to look long and hard at Violet and see what, what did yeah, you do? If they pan the crowd of three different house fires. Yeah. <laughs> and she's standing yeah. at all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you're standing there in, in like a hat that has like a flame on it. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> right. Right. You're you're each one with like like skewers of like s'mores and stuff. Like, hell not. And the firemen are like, I don't know, that really nice lady over there in the nurse's outfit. She helped me hook up the hose at the fire hydrant <laughs> at all three of these houses, you know. <laughs> What's weird is that the call came in at 9 15. Yeah. But no one noticed the flame till 9 30. Yeah. <laughs> this seems suspect. Right. This house is engulfed. She hangs up the phone. I can't light my torch. Damn it. <laughs> and it takes her a while. They get there. Yeah. She's like, wait outside. <laughs> I forgot a flint for this thing. Yeah. Marissa blew it out when they're just yeah. walking from the yeah, other she house. She gets real close and misses like. <laughs> <laughs> I already called it in. And my whole family's just laughing. We told her to do it. <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. I've now made your entire family accomplices to arson. Yeah. Just for the bit, guys. Yeah. Just for the bit. Well, actually, they prevented it. They That's true. That's yeah, true. only they can prevent arson fires. Smokey the Bear is in charge of the forest and the parochials get all the, all the houses. <laughs> but so anyway. He's like, oh, yeah, all you do is blow out a candle. <laughs> I'm a flammable bear. I've been living in a forest for decades. All I, I live in kindling. Really, all I had to do was, is that all I had to do? <laughs> so my last fun fact, uh, we're, we're bouncing all over now because this is Canadian. Canadian lottery winners must correctly answer a math question without using a calculator before they can claim their winnings. Oh, we'd be screwed. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like today's lottery at $17 trillion. Yeah, say. It's like you've never got a winning number. No, no, no. We've got $17 trillion yeah, of them. The, the lotto commission would be like, hey, uh, Scrooge McDuck, yeah. <laughs> you got room in that vault? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to store all the lottery. And you're like, listen, what's the square root of four? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be either one or four. Do they so, tell you what, what some of the questions are? No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. But but again, that's Canadian. So that good for them. Yeah. Good for them. Now, I wonder if they, because they probably don't do Common Core math, but imagine if it's Common Core and you're an adult, you're like, damn it. <laughs> okay, if you, have, if you have two toonies <laughs> and we take away one loony, yeah. <laughs> how many unis do you have left? Yes. I don't even know. <laughs> I want to say toons. Are we talking about birds? I want to say toons. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like Peter. I want to say who. I want to say <laughs> who. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with what. <laughs> what? <laughs> who. <laughs> but yeah, to actually imagine the disgrace, though, that they're like, okay, listen. I know you're holding the lottery ticket, but we're never going to see this cash yeah. if you walk in there with it. We've taken your money. <laughs> You've guessed the right numbers. Here's the gatekeeping. <laughs> right. Math. No! <laughs> yeah. But even his family's like, there's no way you're walking in that store with that with that t- yeah. ticket. Listen, we're going to let him do it, okay? You might as well take that money down to Times Square <laughs> and put it in that building. Yeah. <laughs> Write your hopes and wishes on it. <laughs> Wipe your butt with it, yeah. and then put it in that building to trade. Yeah, you might as well convert that into cheese, okay? <laughs> At the Bank of Italy. <laughs> so, but I yeah, I know that uh, Macaulay. Reach out, tell us if you knew that. Yeah. He's like, I know that Ted. I I've won six yeah. times. I still don't have any money. I have six <laughs> winning tickets. <laughs> right? Here. Why do you think I'm still providing you clips for free? I have no money. <laughs> We're like. Why does he keep sending math in with all of his submissions? Yeah. I'm not answering this. So that's why they're on hiatus, conversing couple. They got another ticket, and he's at home studying. Because he's going to go down, and he's going to answer. That'd be great if he kept sending us math problems. Yeah. And we would have gotten a cut every time. But we're like, what is this idiot? I don't do math. And we just throw it away. You're like, what do we owe you? He sends you back. If a train leaves Cleveland at 40 miles an hour, okay? And then you're like, no, 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 I'm not doing this. That's what it is. He, he's sending this longer and longer, that uh, strange story things. Because yeah. if we send them the time back, yeah. that's the answer. Yeah. <laughs> right. And we just keep cutting it up. No, Macaulay, cut, stop sending this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's an answer in there somewhere. But This uh, is what you get for having to put French and all of this yeah. stuff <laughs> because of one province. <laughs> Voulez-vous. <laughs> you tell Quebec yeah. to, you, that they can find us. <laughs> When you said that, I just pictured Trebek, the way that you said it. Yeah, Trebek, you know. Suck it. Yeah. What so, your mother said. <laughs> yeah. My favorite one I just saw the other day, when he goes, la tits now, he goes, let's let it snow. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no, it's not. <laughs> but, all right, so, now that we digress, let's do uh uh, yeah, I like the, the, did you ever see the one where it was the therapist? Uh, therapist? Yes. Yeah. Not going to say it. Yeah. You guys can figure it I out. I didn't see the. <laughs> yeah. You can figure it out. Yeah. But uh, let's do let's do a TCO sells it for you because this one's right in the same wheelhouse TCO of what we've been doing. TCO sells it for you. All right. So this one is porch and stairs. <laughs> okay. Wait, um, you, you can have one or the other. I'm not kidding you. I'm going to show you a picture. That's barely a porch. Okay. If you had a haunted- That is very generous. If you had a haunted house that someone burned to the ground and the porch and stairs were left, well, this is what you're holding. That's more like porch and top landing. Yeah. So I mean, it, stairs and top landing. So here's here's the description. Okay. By the way, it says $1. So you, I, so you know it's at least 100 bucks. Well, you're overpaying because yeah. I, I can see the stairs. You're overpaying. Uh, but anyway- the description, one set of stairs with landing and one landing, no no stairs. <laughs> Taking offers, you haul away. <laughs> All right, let's like call the landing. Do you think, wait, is this listed by Victoria? Does she sell the stairs and porch after she's burned the houses out? <laughs> That's, from what it is. That's what it is. How do you make your money? Well, I sell the porches once they're done. Yeah, especially the concrete ones are still there when everybody leaves. It's, yeah. it's brilliant, Johnny. I don't even got to figure this out. <laughs> And then Mario comes in. Oh, <laughs> me, Mario. I did figure it yeah. out. You, know? you never counted on the me. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumps on a turtle in front of her. <laughs> and she's like, what, is, what am I seeing? <laughs> He's got a sack of cheese. One down, one to go. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just some guy with a raccoon's tail on his yeah. butt. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> Where does he come from? And why does he keep calling himself Mario? What am I supposed to know him from? All right, go ahead. We're selling port. Is that, yeah, was that so it? Was that, 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 the whole description. Right, how much did they want for it? Uh, well, it's $1, but here's what it, my favorite part. One set of stairs with landing and one landing, no stairs. And it says, taking offers. <laughs> when, you, when you said, you haul it away, I thought it meant like you hyphen haul. Like the, yeah, no, like no. The, no, no, it's no. You all caps, all yeah. caps. You wait, wait. haul away. Right, right. Description, one set of stairs with landing and one landing, no stairs, taking offers. You haul it away! <laughs> yeah, that's, really, that's how that reads. That's how it reads. <laughs> that is how it reads. You know, like somebody goes, you type with caps on. Are you mad at me? No. This guy is pissed at the world yeah, that he still has these stairs and landing. I have told the last four buyers <laughs> that I'm not walking these stairs over to them. You got any leads? I got one guy, but he's a Canadian lottery winner. We got to see if it comes through. <laughs> you know? I got to figure out the rise and the run of these stairs. <laughs> right. And right. then I get my money. Right. <laughs> and then. In Canada. 
First you get the sugar. <laughs> then you get the math. <laughs> then you get the money. <laughs> so so there's not a whole lot to this other than it's just it's it's so awesome. I'll put the picture up when we when we get this one ready to go, All right. uh, so you can see it, you know. And I'll, I'll get this out because this will be uh, coming out here soon, and and I'll, I'll make sure the picture's up. But <laughs> when you see it, you'll be like, "Holy cow!" You know. And again, I'm not going to incriminate anybody, but in case you're looking, uh, this guy's a member of Chicago <laughs> or Shanahan Manuka Garage Sales, uh, buy sell trade of Will County and Plainfield, Romeoville, Joliet, and surrounding areas. So this guy and in, and six other groups. So this guy has has this posted in several locations, and he's still screaming that you'll haul it away. You know, I wonder if that's the one thing they call up. They're like, look, I like the $1. I'm going to bid. Victoria is like, if, you guys I, deliver? if I bring the fire, yeah. <laughs> will you haul away the ashes? Because <laughs> it literally looks, at, at best, at best, it is good for firewood. Oh yeah, I don't even know if it. I mean, it, it's dry. It's yeah. definitely dry. It might have been treated at one point. But yeah, it, it I don't. Is. I don't know. But even the, even like you're looking at the the construction of it. I'm like, uh, that this is something like a two year old would you put get, together. You get two flights of stairs, one landing, no top landing, one railing. Yeah, one one railing. Other side, you're on your own. You're on one your own. railing. Good luck on yeah. the other side. I would recommend not putting it to next to a cliff unless the cliff is on and the left hand side. I cannot be specific enough. <laughs> you <laughs> haul it away. You will haul this. Okay. <laughs> He's all excited. Like, that's his selling point. Right, yeah. Hey, best part is it's mobile. You can take it. It's pretty so, garbage. Yeah. It's barely stairs. Well, you know what? You know it's what else a I hint find? of a porch, but you get to haul it away. So, in reality, if I was selling this, okay, you know what I would want? I'd want the measurement of how high it stands. I'd want to know the measurement of the platform. You know, you know what every question he's getting? Yeah. Hey, how much for those concrete culverts behind yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, you know, you put something very interesting in that picture. Is yeah. it the landing yeah. or the stairs? No, hey, no, no. Is the, it cul the culverts. Are the culverts one buck each or <laughs> yeah. what are we talking? Now, do you deliver those? Yes. You! <laughs> are we OBO in those culverts? What are we doing? <laughs> Is that the OBO theme? Yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> Off the rails. <laughs> so anyway, so let's, let's jump into a TCO of the week then. This TCO one's, of the week. We don't have a lot of time. This one's way better. Uh, McDonald's sued by woman who claims their ads made her crave cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh, it's a disease, It's a Damon. disease, Karen. <laughs> so it says a Russian woman, but I bet she's from Florida. <laughs> A Russian woman currently living in Florida is suing McDonald's for allegedly forcing her to break her orthodox fasting with their delicious cheeseburger ads. First off, false. Uh, yeah. At first, I've never seen a cheeseburger yeah. ad. It's like they're advertising that. No. You know why they don't? They're like, you know McDonald's has cheeseburgers, and they used to have like 99 cent any size drinks. But you knew that. That was a staple. Right. You did right. not have to put that in a commercial. Yeah. You know? You know, it's when they come out, wait, we turned the Big Mac bun upside mm. down. That's what they. Yeah. That's all they have now. You're like, yeah. here's everything we already have. Different. I don't know how to say her name, but I'm going to call her Ksenia. And her last Holy name is a, her last name. She bought a vowel. She got uh, yeah. them all. All right. <laughs> she she bought a consonant. Yeah. and Got them all. She she's an Orthodox Catholic who was observing Lent when she saw a poster. A poster, mind you, which is how we advertise in Russia. It okay is a disease for McDonald's chicken nuggets and cheeseburgers in the town of Omsk. But she didn't. The, she could avoid the nuggets. It says sadly, she just couldn't resist and stopped for a bite to eat. First off, isn't Lent supposed to be your own power? Your own, like you're using your willpower right. to give something up. Yeah. Are you uh, also? Do you know that they decided fish were okay? Yeah, the, one of the popes was a fisherman. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Ah, hey, you know what? Let's sell my fishies. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I can't keep these for forty yeah, days. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I got a whole dock's worth. I got a whole bank of fish down here. But, but the, the other thing that gets me is it's like, so say I give up Snickers for Lent, okay? I don't really eat them anyway, but say I give up Snickers, False. all right? If I do that, that doesn't mean if you walk around me eating a Snickers, I go, damn you. you know, yeah, yeah. This means nothing. Yeah. I will finish your Snickers Ted, Ted brought in a Snickers. I need to call. Wait, Wait what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. He'll get you off. So anyway, says she's been fasting for about a month. <laughs> She hadn't eaten meat for about a month before she saw the ad. However, it was too enticing to ignore. I've you never have a sub peanut. Yeah. I've never seen an ad and be like, that's pretty enticing. Yeah. I better do that. Uh now all you can eat shrimp, 
Maybe. There's a time limit on that, folks. These cheeseburgers are going to be there at the end of Lent. That's true. Okay? That's true. There's all-you-can-eat shrimp. If that comes during Lent, I, I'm sorry. I had a good intention, but I'm going to partake. And we're going to call them fish, and it's allowed. I was heading down to my shift at the uh, cheese bank to guard the, yeah. guard the cheese. <laughs> right. But I cannot pass up a burger today. <laughs> but it says... uh she couldn't stop herself from ordering a cheeseburger. When I saw an advertising banner, I could not help myself, she said in court. I had to sue a business for doing the exact thing the businesses need to do to stay in business. But it says it's the first time she broke her fast in 16 years. After seeing the ad, she went to the nearest McDonald's and ordered a burger from the poster. No, you didn't. You ordered it from whatever the, the intercom is. The poster can't do anything what, for you. What, what I want to know is, like, the same place you ever go, someplace that's not usually busy, and one day it's super busy, and you're like, are they giving away... Fill in whatever you'd really want to have. <laughs> right, right. At that place today. Like, what is it? Like, I've never been like, oh, I have avoided cheeseburger for 16 years. <laughs> but that is the most gorgeous subway stop picture <laughs> right. of a burger. Because right. it had to be like, the poster's got like, a, like on a bus stop or in the subway. So what if somebody drew like Joe guys all over it? Yeah. It's still awesome looking. Yeah. But, but like, it, there's three billboards. You, you wouldn't know this because it's on the way to O'Hare. <laughs> the three billboards is usually like a, a, a McMuffin and then like a burger and then fries. I've never been like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I know my flight is in an hour and a half. Yeah. And uh, I haven't been TCA pre checked yet because I was in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. But I have to get an egg McMuffin right now. AKI bathroom guy. Yeah. AKI. But, but no, so, so what, I, what I did laugh about though on this. Is if you think about it, when she says from the sign, if you were with me one time, I think when I ordered something and I said, no, I want what it looks like out here. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, can you, can you just pop your head out here and see it? And you're like, do you like, you're like, do you have the picture of what I'm looking at in there? That's what I said. Yeah. Cause I said, okay, this is what I want. Okay. But I don't want, I like, I didn't want the onions or something. Yeah. And they're like, so you don't want nothing on it. I'm like, no, no, no. I want what it looks like in the picture. Minus the onions. And they're like, what picture, sir? I'm like, the one I'm looking at right here. Like, I was mad. They didn't see the picture yeah. I was looking at in the drive-thru. How drive dare you yeah. not be able to see what I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should be able to draw this from memory, okay? You should be able to. Uh, but it says she thought McDonald's should be held responsible for luring her in. Uh, the lawsuit states, in the actions of McDonald's, I see a violation of the consumer protection law. I asked the court to investigate. And if a violation has taken place to oblige McDonald's LLC, compensate me for normal damage in the amount of 1,000 rubles. This is, I was like, this is Russia. They have cons consumer protection laws? So here it says, she's asking for 1,000 rubles, equivalent to $14. Wow, we, to Google that. <laughs> <laughs> so she just wants a refund. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she, she feels can, bad because she feels bad. Anybody should feel bad about eating $14 worth of McDonald's. Right. <laughs> that's where the real problem is, Mac. You're right. It's like, so if it's 1,000 rubles, that sounds like a lot, right? So that probably is a lot in your household, but you got a cheeseburger for it. So that's where the that's where the remorse came in. She's upset because she couldn't afford the nuggets and the cheeseburger. Yeah, but it says uh, now the McDonald's franchise. Uh, They're all gone. They pulled out. Yeah. Yeah, but it says uh, complaint that managers at one McDonald's franchise weren't allowing employees to observe social distancing. Uh, oh, that was in 2020. So, yeah, it's just, it, it, basically this is uh, from 2021 is when this happened. So but you are correct. They pulled everything out of there. Like you know, they pulled out. Is this because of the ongoing war? Uh, no, it's because of that lady made us pay a thousand rubles. Because of your delicious looking billboards, you scumbag. She, <laughs> she ruined us. Yeah. We, were, we were make or break 1,000 rubles. Yeah. That was our entire GDP. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> all right. Her name, like, it looks like the Russian of Karen. Yeah, all right. Because right. it starts with a K. Karinsky. We'll just yeah. call her Karinsky. Um, <laughs> so let's do, let's do a strange story. Because I know we started a little bit Still after the, the hour, one. but I want to make sure we get this in. Still the wrong one. I yeah. can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was this one. <laughs> it's Strange Stories with Damon and... Nope, actually, it was not that one. <laughs> I was like, it's this one shorter, but I no, like, it was not that I one. I like when you killed it, though. With yeah. Damon and... Okay. You have a sub. <laughs> so, here's the headline. Hawaii is battling hordes of feral chickens, and the chickens are winning. Sounds mm -hmm. right. Okay. Ah, Hawaii, sunshine, sandy beaches, tropical warmth, and thousands of aggressive feral chickens. Hawaii it nice. literally was like the, uh, let's try this island. Yeah. Because <laughs> there was a huge rodent problem, so yeah. they brought over mon, uh, mongoose. Is it mongoose or mongoose? Mac? I don't care. <laughs> anyway, they brought those over. They have a different, they're, they're nocturnal. Yeah. So they're in a different cycle than the mice. Yeah. So they didn't do anything. They just offset. So now you have a bunch of mongoose at night and a bunch of ice in the morning. So you'd, like they didn't. Yeah, we have two separate problems now. Yeah. And then they also brought over like uh, kudzu, like the climbing vine. Yeah, 
They're like, hey, we'll use this to do something else. And you're like, oh, great. Now you just wiped out all the other vegetation. <laughs> so I, probably someone was like, you know what this island needs? Chickens. <laughs> so it and says, now it's just like overrun with chickens. But it says because they have no natural predators over there. But here's the deal: I'm not going to eat because you mon- don't live there. I'm not going to eat a mongoose with ranch, okay? <laughs> but these chickens are not going to ruin my day. All yeah, right. It was funny. It was like, hey, we're still importing <clears throat> a whole bunch of spam. Why don't we just eat these chickens? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out the chickens love spam. <laughs> That's crazy. You can't put chicken with uh, seaweed. Yeah. But it says Hawaiians have been dealing with an overabundance of feral chickens running amok. The loud clucking pests are not only aggressive, but they also poop everywhere. So it says the situation has got unbearable that Hawaii state legislator has all but declared war on the chickens. Just send Dirty Mary over there. <laughs> right. Give Nicole a gun and be like, you're going down, mother clucker. And it's because she shoots low anyway. Why, why are they taping paper plates to the chickens? <laughs> no, they're putting, they're putting paper plates what? slightly above the chickens' heads. Yeah. <laughs> she shoots low. Right. Well, I hope you didn't want any chicken groin because we're not so, going to have any. Let's send <laughs> let's send Mac and your wife over there, separate ends of the island. Yeah. Mac's goal is to scoop up the chickens and preserve them. Yeah. Her goal is to take them out, and we just sell tickets to them. Yeah. <laughs> but now we dress Mac like a chicken, <laughs> knowing whatever happens, happens. No. <laughs> Uh, I I think Nicole should have the gun and I get a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> He's swinging it by the tail like a lasso and throwing it at the chickens. TCO presents. Yeah. <laughs> the chicken plucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love that in so many ways. So anyway, it says, unfortunately for them, the chickens seem to be winning. They've mostly managed successfully to avoid any attempts to trap or catch them. Chickens, chickens are dumb. They're yep. dumb. Mac, do, do, what's your take on that? You think they're trying hard enough? <laughs> he's like, no, they, he's I mean, like, they always outsmart me. Like, I don't know. <laughs> don't they know that chickens are tasty? <laughs> like, don't they got a farmer that wants to move in there or something? Yeah, Max going to bring his uh, chicken, like, the feather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, just to be running. Foom, foom, foom. <laughs> just put it on the side of his car and he just holds it out. Set up a fast food empire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> miles and miles of conveyor belts. Just feeding these chickens. How many inhabitants are on this pl- island? What is it? Well, I don't know how many, uh, but it says the, uh, <laughs> it says, that the Hawaii State Legislature tried to establish a state-funded program to address the feral chickens. It proposed a five-year pilot program to eradicate the cluckers. Unfortunately, the authorities couldn't really agree on what it meant by eradicating the chickens. We want to be humane. They're delicious. Do <laughs> yeah. they not know they're delicious? I think Max should go down there and open up <clears throat> KFCs. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, they're like fried? No. Are they worried about They're like feral. the chickens spreading to other OFCs. islands? OFCs, Oana, Oana fried chickens. It's a family. It's a family place. It's, it's, no, it's not fried. It's feral. Yeah. <laughs> you can't you can't open up a Kentucky fried chicken. No, I open a KFC. Yeah. It's kill feral chickens. Yeah, and I they, kill them, cook them, and you eat them. That's that delicious. Seems like a great. And here comes here, com- here comes our ocean liner full of ranch <laughs> and, and and honey mustard. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you get involved. Yeah. I mean, you go down there and take care of all the chickens. I'm done. I will bring the condiments. I'm on King of the World. I'm right in the front of it going, I'm on King of the World. <laughs> and they're like, that Mean- must be our ranch. Meanwhile, I hire Victoria <laughs> yeah. to get on the boat. <laughs> yes. She. I, am I like, let him, let him see the island. Yeah. <laughs> let him see. It. Let him <laughs> smell the fried chicken, Victoria. Yeah. <laughs> and take that boat down. <laughs> By the way, I want you to take, I want you to drain the ranch first so I have to watch it. <laughs> What happened? Well, he jumped in the ranch. And he Substitute did. the ranch with tartar sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him. But uh, so anyway, they want to be humane. But uh, Why? yeah, uh, for lack of a statewide effort, the city of Honolulu decided to take matters into its own hands. Uh, they installed traps in five locations. You have feral chickens all over <laughs> and you have five traps. Do you see any math wrong here? First off, you're yeah. not going to win a Canadian I'm just lottery. Say. Okay, <laughs> you are not going to win the Canadian lottery. You do not understand how math works. So, but it says they remain in place for two months until the city officials evaluated their effectiveness. Five traps, two months, thousands of chickens. Uh, did you ever clear the traps? Now these traps are filling up. But this- yeah. The chicken population is not reducing. The results weren't good. Over a two-month period, the traps caught only 67 chickens while hmm. costing around $7,000, oh totaling $104 per bird. Hardly cost-effective. So anyway, that's a part of a larger effort to try to mitigate the feral chicken population. I think what happens is a lot of people, it's a, oh, it's a novelty to them. They feel the, they feel they feed the birds. They'll feed chickens. They'll feed various animals in the parks. They don't understand that uh, that causes a broader issue. 
I'll tell you what. I think they're not trying very hard because yeah. honestly, you should be able to throw down a handful of scratch and like 67 chickens <laughs> just charging say, yeah. at you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can catch it. I can catch a Canadian goose with no effort. Yeah. <laughs> so it says, I can, yeah. All I, yeah. Needed, all I needed to do was window well. One window well. All I did was buy a house a decade ago. Yeah. Canadian goose. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Ted will deliver. So Ted will deliver. So it says from dawn to, to setting sun. There's a constant crowing daily, and I work from home, so it's hard and sometimes embarrassing if I have to make the call to the mainlands. Just imagine that. Just all the clucking going on in the background. What are you doing, Farmer Dell? What are you doing? Max right, though. Just get a bunch of fencing. Yeah. So make a square, three sides. Have the four side ready to go. Throw down the scratch. Chickens come in. Boom, four side. Boom, you got a pin of chickens. Yeah. Kill them, eat them, watch them, whatever you want to do. Now they're in your pin. Drown them. Whatever you want to do, throw them on the ocean. This is America. Get yeah. two horses over. Give them a gun. Whoa. Shoot. Yeah, but here, but here, here it says the feral fowl are dirty and drop their waste with strong smells all over walkways, driveways, and street areas. Sounds like my window. Well. Okay, but if they're out that open and you can't catch them, you're the idiot. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know, I have a I have a driveway full of chicken crap. Did you catch one? Oh no no no! I my, my trap's empty. <laughs> no, then you're doing something. Uh, uh, he's totally right. Throw down corn. <laughs> throw down the chicken feed. And watch them swarm. And then take your machete out and practice your moves, you know. It's insane. And again, I'm not trying to be inhumane. I'm trying to eat delicious chicken. That's what I'm trying to do. So, but uh, let's see here. Homemade problem. Yeah, so it's, it's over 40 years since the chickens have enjoyed a Hawaiian vacation. There's plenty of food in the trash, and the weather is good, and nobody seems to be trying very hard to get rid of them. To be fair, that, that's also why there's a lot of humans living in Hawaii. Correct. On the streets and under overpasses and stuff. They're, you know, oh, this is really nice. They're, I was going to hang out. There really is. You're correct. Yeah. There really is. But uh, again, I I digress in saying that Mac would, although he may not win the Canadian lottery, okay, he, he most likely could solve this problem and open a restaurant or whatever. Do they just not eat chicken? Do they not know that it's good? No, they do. So I don't understand why... I mean, you you've been blessed per se with free range food in your neighborhood. Yeah, they're out there like at the <clears> beach. <throat> like, man, these, these man, we're, the fish are just not happening anymore. The oceans are kind of drying up. What are we gonna do? And the chicken just walk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. I man. don't know, bro. I, it'll come to me. It'll come to me eventually. <laughs> As the chicken comes over and like punches yeah. a seagull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing is, I mean, are, do they are they gonna reproduce too? No, because they have to have roosters for that, right? Well, clearly they are if they've been there for 40 years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th then just go kill the roosters. Eventually they'll be done. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So I don't I don't know why I need to solve Hawaii's problem. <laughs> well, I don't even fly. I'm not going to be there. It I, doesn't I, matter. I, I, I totally get you, like whatever get I can see them like meeting up at the KFC <laughs> and being like we got to these chickens got to get rid of them humanely. <laughs> are there any more thighs in there? Yeah. <laughs> The juxtaposition yeah. is stupid. And then, then you hear pop, pop, pop. And Nicole's like, there you go. <laughs> Fill them up. <laughs> That'd be like Peter, like showing up in Fonzie jackets. Being, we really got to do something. <laughs> hey, we got to do there's something. There's a real up, problem here. About hey. these cows. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you know what's weird, though? That's not a sacred. Is that a sacred type deal? That uh, Like Hawaiians. See, this they don't is, have sacred animals, right? Do they? I know Hawaiians. they have a lot of different traditions, even though they're. I mean, possibly. That could be it. You know. But can't you just bring somebody in that does that? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> what are you a farmer? farmer? Like, like, what are you there? Hey, can you help us with these chickens? What am I a farmer? Yeah. I'm here on vacation. <laughs> Max got his, his. You figured out the pineapples. Figured out these stupid chickens. Max got a broom handle. What are you doing? I want to take care of them cats. What do you mean cats? <laughs> what you, there's chickens. There's cats. I'm going to take care of them. <laughs> So Matt would oh. be the one to bring the raccoon to solve the chicken problem. And then 40 years from now, our children are doing a podcast like, hey, there's a massive feral raccoon problem. <laughs> there's a raccoon problem. <laughs> In Hawaii. <laughs> they call them maccoons for some reason. They try to keep everything Tupperware. <laughs> Dan is saying they can open it. <laughs> they got thumbs. <laughs> you see they call them maccoons? Yeah. 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 That's what it is. Maccoons. <laughs> and they have a shrine of their the, fallen I love leader. Those cookies, those are pretty good. <laughs> no, Whoa, I'm not going to last another forty years. <laughs> no, no, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, just a, just in the side of the volcano. <laughs> just a tippy top. It's okay. Our leader will get you off. <laughs> Where Wait, can they find what? us, Dad? <laughs> 
<laughs> Fighters of That Checks Out.net. All the socials of That Checks Out. WDT. That Checks Out has been a TCO wow. Productions recorded for you at Audio Hive Podcasting Studio. We tell you every week. Reach out to Max if you want to do your own podcast. It's fun. It's wild. You can talk about killing chickens in Hawaii. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> he giggles. He giggles like that's the funniest thing you heard all day. <laughs> Max really wants a chicken killing podcast done here in the studio. For Damon, I have been Ted. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> wow. He, he did. He Peter Griffin did, man. <laughs> 1 800 Wade what? Wade W W U T. Wade what? Maybe Wade should be W A Y D. Maybe it should just be different. Wade. W A I D. There you go. Yeah. Or W E I G H E D. <laughs> Wade. What?